Okay, we're going to improve this app somewhat. Uh, we're going to start by adding a uh, horizontal arrangement here that is going to tell us what the high and the low values are for the stock. So if I go down to layout and grab a horizontal arrangement, and I'm going to put in four labels here. So these are going to tell me what the high, low uh, values are. Ugh, sorry. Uh, for the app, uh, for, for the particular stock within the time that I'm looking at it. So I'm going to say it's going to be high and um, I have to call this high uh, X and I'm going to call this uh, text box here. I colon, and this is going to just be telling me what this is going to show. And it's going to start at zero, and I'll rename this component high max value. And then this one is going to be renamed uh, uh, low min, and this is going to be called low min value. And low min value is just going to be initialized to zero. Low min is going to say low colon. And so now you can see high zero, low zero. We're going to replace zero and zero with the high, the highest value in the high and the lowest value in the low. So over to blocks to do this, I'm going to uh, have to uh, compare uh, the particular value for the high. So I'm going to grab here, and I'm going to do a little math comparison block, and I'm going to compare the value in here and check to see if this value is less than the, excuse me, I'll put this back over here, uh, the value that is in the high uh, place in the current row. So over here, this is my current high value for the row that I'm on. And if it is greater than this, then I need to replace what is in the high max value. Now I'm purposely making an error here and you'll see what the error is in a second. So if I do this, you would think that I'm going to compare each element against the high max text value, uh, which is start initially zero. And if this number is greater than zero, which the first row should be, then I'm going to put that information in there. But what you'll see if I run this um, is I get an error that pops up here because the first row, as you will have remembered, uh, is the word date and open and high. So I can't compare a word to a number in a, for a numerical comp, uh, comparison. And so to fix this, I'm going to put in an AND block. There's my error message saying I'm trying to um, convert, uh, cannot parse text list from CSV tables to CSV file. Oh, it's not getting my data back at all because I hit search uh, when I had no text in there. But uh, now that I have some text in there, um, well, it's, I'm in the middle of coding something, so it's not going to work. So what I want to do is first check to see that this thing is a number and then do the comparison. And I'm going to take advantage of something called short circuit evaluation here to do this. And short circuit evaluation means um, if the first one is false, don't check the second one when you have an AND block. Because AND requires both to be true. So if the first one is false, you don't have to check the second one to know the whole thing will be false. So short circuit evaluation means that I can avoid having to check this and produce this error um, if it turns out that the element I'm on is not a number. So again, back over here, hit this get stock data, and you can see that, boom, the high value appears right there. And indeed, is this the highest value in this column? Yes, it is. There it is in the second position. Great, that's working. So we'll stop there and do the low in the next video.